Hi, that is the first example of shear moment diagrams. And uh, let's just hit it off with a quick rigid body analysis right here. Um, let me do a quick drawing. And draw this. And what you'll see is you'll have a y, or a y and uh, just uh, I'm going to throw it out there since there's nothing resisting it. A x is equal to zero. Nothing's resisting it, but you still need b y, and you have ten pounds right here. You have five pounds right here. You have twenty pounds real close over here. And all the distances are right above. So, let's just do a quick moment around uh, A. And what you realize is that you're going to have negative 10 times 2 minus 5 times 5 and then minus 14 times 20 plus 15 times the B. And that all will equal zero. Okay, so I'm going to do the math for you here. And B will equal 21.67 pounds. Okay, so that's not too complex. Let's just solve uh, sigma F of Y will equal AY minus 10 minus 5 minus 20 plus 21.67 and with that you're going to find that your a y or a will equal 13.33 pounds fairly simple okay so let's just rock right into the uh right into the diagrams. Something along those lines right here. And what you're going to find is that first off, you we, we're just going to read it like a book like we did before, right? So it's going to start off at, I don't know, 13.33. That's the force at A, right? And that continues for two feet then it goes down 10. So now it's down to 3 feet, 3.33 feet. And then it goes for 3 more feet to the side to here, at which point it goes down 5. So it actually goes down into the negative. So let me write this out. This right here, this height is going to be 3.33. And this is going to be negative 1.67 pounds. Then you continue on until you hit right where that big 20 pound force is at the last foot and you minus 20. And you finish it off. And this is 21.67. This is all what I would consider my shear diagram. Now that we know the shear diagram, um, we can just look at it, pull out uh, various areas to determine our moments, and then work from there. So let me just get that shear, and let's just take basically everything from the shear diagram and translate it into moment. Take all these areas, right? So, so to get our first point, what we're going to do is 13.33 times 2, which will be 26.6. .6. So we can actually go to this actual 2 foot marker, go up 26.6, .6, which I'm just going to guesstimate is right here. 26.6. .6. Then it's going to continue to increase for 
3.33 times 3, which is going to be 9.99 or about 10. So I'm going to say 36. So we go to this point and we say 36, draw a line. This is 36.6. Fairly simple. Remember, this is pound feet. Pound feet. Okay, so now we do 1.67 times 9, and we're going to subtract that area because that's what that's what this area would be, right? The negative area. 1.67 times 9, and what you get is something pretty close to 15. So 15 is going to be pretty close to around 21. Should be around 21, right? So it should be right around there. Something like that. More straight like, obviously. 2167. And then right on down to zero. And what you realize is that this is our moment diagram. And I know it's kind of uh, tricky to figure it out at first, but. Uh, you'll find that uh, it, it will become second nature to you and almost an easier alternative. So, And right here is going to be our peak moment and if you were considering a, a design you might want to put an extra plate there for extra rigidity or whatnot. So, Up to you though and I'll see you guys in the next video.